welcome Megan Shoemaker with hashtag Hey May Does May, 31 Days of Poetry. We were, oh, we were told that we were supposed to wave when the slides start, and then I thought, what if we did the wave? But then I remembered that you're all seated at tables, and that might be dangerous and a liability, so we're just going to wave at Graham and say, start the slideshow. Graham. <laughs> So I'm Megan, it's nice to meet you all. I'm a talker, so I just wanna start by saying that talking for only five minutes is about as hard for me as playing the five minute quiet game, which I played a lot as a kid and lost. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for coming out tonight and joining us to celebrate the beautiful community in Lincoln. I'm a photographer that loves people and art and especially the interaction of both. This May, I completed a project that consisted of portraits shot daily of over 50 people. These photos before you tonight are a result of my project, and I'm just gonna let them speak for themselves as I explain the process I had for my Hey May Does May 31 Days of Portraits project. At the end of April this year, I had an urge to um, take on something that brought people together. You see, I'd been experiencing fatigue over all the negative messaging that comes with social media. I had a baby, Jack, in 2008, and being at home, nursing all day, being alone, scrolling through social media, it became taxing. And um, there's so much going on since then, I can't even tell you exactly what was so depressing. Um, but you get it, social media is this wild place and it can be really toxic. Although I do think social media can be used positively, I think we can agree that there's constant messaging out there across all the platforms that divides us. Um, I became, through this, more aware of how I was interacting with other people and the messaging that I was sending about myself. I wanted to challenge myself to look outward and take a break from the political and selfie culture that's so absorbed in our society and produce something that um, sampled a community and the amazing things that can manifest from face-to-face -face communication and creative collaboration. A one-a-day challenge would be a perfect way for me to challenge myself as an artist, but also challenge myself socially. I wanted to spend at least 20 minutes every day face-to-face -face with a different person and take a portrait that encompassed their personality or something going on in their lives at the time. Although it really was a beast of a project, I just want you to know I have a Beyonce status team. And Side note, she does have a team and that's okay. She's still awesome. After putting out an open call for participation, within a couple days I had fully booked through May. I was so humbled by my tribe. Um, this group took a chance on me and themselves, but most of all they were going to be a part of something beautiful that truly took a life of its own. The planning for these shoots was, for the most part, spontaneous. Um, most of the shoots were planned a couple days in advance, some a couple hours, some as we were going, and each had creative elements that manifested between me and the participants. And creativity exploded as other people saw what people were doing. I think they all thought we were gonna just do headshots. Um, and all of a sudden I was borrowing cars, incorporating huge balloons, um, setting up, up Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm pretty sure I watched someone roll a motorcycle into a building that was not coded for motorcycles. As you can imagine, I explored all parts of the city. This is an amazing space that we live in. So many of the models that participated were not people who often had their picture taken or liked having their picture taken. And I have thought for months about what would compel someone to participate in a portrait project if they didn't like that. But then I realized as I was coming up with words to say to you tonight, that these people were just as compelled and yearning to be part of something as positive as I was. The, they sent their own messages through these projects. They were brave and raw, and they changed my idea of people in general. And these people, a random sample of humanity in our community, were not represented by the trolls of the internet. I'm so incredibly grateful for the people in my life that rooted me on and watched our kids when we needed extra help and made sure I was drinking enough water. Obviously, because of the hours required of this project, my husband had to be two people. Love you, babe. And um, all sorts of people assisted me with props and locations and um, 
ideas even. And above all, we had fun. We had so much fun. I was really sad when it was over. <laughs> the project was summed up in 31 days first Friday opening and I purposely scrambled all the images together um, because I wanted to show that we are all connected. I wanted the installation to reflect humanity um, and what makes us one. You see, we are all responsible for ourselves and how we treat others, even on the internet. To close my time with you, I want to leave you with the quote that was just up there um, by badass exologist, scientist, and writer Rachel Carson. The more clearly we focus our attention on the wonders and realities of the universe about us, the less taste we shall have for its destruction. Thank you. Have a great rest of your night. <laughs>